So yesterday, a fun thing happened. I put my first post, just a draft post on Dribble, but I just thought, you know what, I'll put a post up and see how it goes. An hour after I put a post up, I got an invite for Dribble. And this morning I have some notifications saying that people liked my post and I have a couple of followers. Ooh, so exciting. I did a post for Dribble, like my, everybody does like their first shot that has something to do with Dribble. So this is what I put up there. I'll post it up here. In Evernote, I made a little to-do list. And the first thing that I had on the list was to finish formatting all the sticker sheets that I had like in progress. But I was able to do that work all actually during the week. So up here, I'll put the ones that I've completed. So, and really now I have to get down to testing. I don't have sticker paper for my inkjet printer that I got and the paper has been shipped. So yeah, the sticker paper will be arriving today. So a task that I wanted to complete today is to get the room next door set up with the Cameo and the printer because this room is too small to really house all the machinery and even like when I, once I get an inventory and that kind of thing, I'll need more room to have that stuff set up. So that's number one is to set up another studio space in the spare bedroom. So doing that, I have to remove a mattress. I have to set up a table that I have in the garage, set up the printer and the Cameo. I need to apply for HP Instant Ink. It seems pretty cool and I'll talk about it more because we're gonna get a setup. I need to create some Instagram posts. <laughs> My Instagram right now has nothing on it. Along with setting up like kind of figuring out how I want to put the products up, like what I want that digital mock-up of the sticker sheet to be on the Etsy listing. I think I'm gonna try to figure out some different layouts for the sticker sheets to display them on Instagram or other uh, like Dribble and that kind of thing. So one for Instagram, one for Dribble, one for the Etsy listings. Just like I have one for the sticker sheets right now. One thing at a time. Let's get into it. Welcome to the garage. Uh, it is incredibly messy. Don't judge us too harshly. I'm armed with cleaning supplies and a dust buster because the table is buried in there and uh, I don't actually know where the legs of the table are. So let's uh, take a look. off the loose it's been in the garage since we moved here last October. Ugh. Okay, let's get it inside. What's that? So this table looks a little bit rough right now. Rougher than I remember, looks like it belongs in the barn, but uh, but trying to be frugal. I like to just give a shout out for my amazing husband because he just helped me get rid of the mattress. There's Charlie inspecting everything. Here I have my HP 5055 
on this rickety little, used to be a sewing table. Bare bones. Bare bones, baby. But it'll do. Right now though, it is quarter after 12. Uh, we haven't eaten lunch, so we're gonna go eat some lunch. Probably gonna go for a walk. Now I'm gonna have to set up the printer next. That's my next goal. So I have instructions, I have ink, and I have also instructions on how to do instant ink. Anyway, and it's only noon, so I actually feel pretty good. Today's progress so far, yay! <laughs> Also, I got a notification, the paper is on its way. It should be delivered in the next couple hours. So that's perfect. We'll get to test with the sticker paper. Cool. the HP Instant Ink set up, I'm impressed. Honestly, I'm impressed. So I went with the moderate usage just for right now, which is 100 pages per month. Like this printer is so good. I'm so happy with my choice on this. Thank you, God. But the heavy one is probably what I'll end up, I'm planning to really work my bum off. That's all set up. I'm so glad that that's set up because you know, you always get a little bit nervous, like you don't know how these things are gonna go, so I will put these papers in this broken drawer and forget about them. I can't really go straight into testing because I the paper has not been delivered yet, but soon, baby, soon. <laughs> Right now I'm making the background for these sticker sheets. I noticed that this is such an awkward angle. I noticed that a lot of people on their product listings put like an Erin Condren kind of really faintly in the back. And I notice it as a nice detail that just adds some texture to the background and just makes it a little bit more contextual. Try to do that even though I don't have an Erin Condren so I'm not really, this is that learning curve that I was talking about. having a very difficult time. I'm getting really frustrated. I don't know how to make an Etsy listing for my stickers that looks nice, original, clear. I don't know. And it's probably something that you just like get better at as you're putting listings up, but <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> okay, look at it. 
So I'm trying to do like the Erin Condren background. So this would be like a close up version so you could see the stickers when they're far away in the little thumbnail on Etsy. They're like, they show up so small. So you need to be able to like read what the sticker's about so you can kind of see it from far away and you do get the Erin Condren feeling. I do like it. And then I was thinking for the second one, but this is the other view that I had. Okay, all right. Much ado and talking with Louie. I'm so thankful that he's home today to help me out with this stuff. This is kind of what we came up with. Then for the large, to show the sticker sheet, it would be like this. So we put a watermark, but it's not that obvious. It's still not like distracting. It's just enough to deter the thieves. I think it turned out great and I can check it off my list. <laughs> I still will need to go through and create all of these product photos and save them out into appropriate folders. There's a lot of file management <laughs> is what I'm starting to realize. One thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. Here are my papers here. Woohoo! There it is. <laughs> I am happy. Thanks, Amazon. Yes. Why does it have a cut line on the side? And this is, oh gosh. Or is that the back? Oh, maybe that's the back. So first impressions of this paper is that it looks like the post waste paper that I got before from the other place. It's quite thin. I just wrinkled it a little bit. That'll be a test sheet, oh well. So this is the back side of it and it has a little slit, you see that? So that is not ideal. Yeah, and that's the sticker back part. And the backing of it is like gray, can you see that? Oh boy. So it's okay. From what I can see, it's okay for starting out. I'm kind of bummed, not gonna lie. Amazon basics. And I heard some people in the comments saying that it was slightly gray and it wasn't like a pure white white and that it was just like, okay. But then so many other people were like, this is great for planners and I love it. Anyways, let's get some sheets figured out on the Silhouette Designer Studio and then print and test some sticker design. Let's get to it. Down to that level. Oh, unload. Okay, let's see. This part worked. So that part worked.
<laughs> I seriously think I'm gonna cry. Oh. Here's my incredibly messy planner for this week, but we're going to put some stickers in it. Oh yeah, oh yeah we are. You guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah! Wow. I did draw before, so. That seems like a good place to end because had some success, had some failures, had some hard times, had some really good times, and hopefully next week I can really get organized. Can really set up some methods that are gonna help me with organization on my computer, organizing the files that I need to, but I will let you guys know how that all goes. I'm just editing the video now and my send off was super weak yesterday. I uh, thank you everybody for joining me. This week's vlog was a little bit long and I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different next week. So uh, I'll probably have my new sticker paper so we'll do some more tests. Maybe a journal with me. We'll see how things go. So yeah, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Bye.